Hey, welcome to Let's Try This. For this episode, our friends Ryan and Laura went to New York to try three famous New York restaurants. Let's check it out. Hey Winnipeggers, we're here in New York City. We're going to be trying out three different dessert places and giving them a review. Uh, we're going to try Black Tap for their milkshakes. Uh, we're going to try Serendipity 3 for their outrageous desserts. And Milk Bar is a pretty famous one that's on Netflix. So the banana split is like the biggest uh, attraction at that place. So as you saw, it's like this huge sundae. It's got two full-size bananas coming out of the sides. Uh, there's five scoops of ice cream, pistachio, strawberry, cookies and cream, vanilla. So for me, what made this really special was the hot fudge. So they put, literally, it's a glass, like a goblet, and then they put hot fudge like around in the, in the plate. And so you can scoop some of that up, toss it in your ice cream. Best hot fudge I've had. Um, does it live up to the hype? I think so. Like, it's, everything in there, as you saw, is pretty outrageous. What else? Would I recommend it to someone? Yeah, definitely. Like, if you're in the Upper East Side um, and you want to see around there, like, this is definitely a good place to stop. I would compare it to, like, Snow and Moon that we have in Winnipeg. Um, but yeah, it's a good place for lots of ice cream. got back from Black Tap to try the milkshakes. Uh, we got a burger too, um, and the burger was really good too, but I think like, we should highlight the milkshakes. Um, probably like one of, the, one of the top three milkshakes that I've had in my life. As far as like display goes, it was the best. Like I've never seen a milkshake like that, literally the size of my head. Um, so that was really good. Uh, does it live up to the standard, uh, the, the, like the hype that everyone puts? I think so. Like there's, like I said, there's nothing that you can get anywhere else like that um, that I've seen at least. So yeah, black tap milkshakes definitely live up to the hype. Would I recommend it to someone else? Definitely. Like if someone approached me in New York and they're like, where should I go for uh, a milkshake? Uh, go to black tap. Next, we're going to be going to Milk Bar, which is in the East Village. There's actually a Netflix documentary out about this place. The chef who is named Christina Tosi or Christina Tosi. Um, there's a big documentary out about her. Her big thing is she has this like crazy sweet tooth and so she kind of just decided that she wanted to take all the things that she loved and kind of make like gourmet pastries and stuff out of that. Um, so the thing that she's really famous for is making everything out of cereal milk. She literally like takes a flavor of cereal and mixes it with milk and then makes something out of it. So we're gonna try here cereal milk. We're gonna try here cereal milk uh, ice cream. We're gonna try some birthday cake truffle, and we're gonna try something that was formerly known as crack pie. They changed it to now be milk bar pie. Early morning cartoons in a cup. <laughs> what do you think of the truffle? It's really good. Isn't that delicious? It's like, I don't know how you get so much sweetness into a dough. Oh, it's so good. It makes like Timbits seem like. Yeah, seriously, cardboard. right? Okay, here, so try some crack pie. I don't think that's good. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's get your reaction. It's good. Show me like your best. Crack pie face. That's <laughs> it's a compost cookie. I don't think it's okay. chocolate. It's salty snacks. Yeah, see, I'm a big ice cream lover. It's not my favorite. They just had a few pebbles flavor that they discontinued because they're just changing things up within the season. I wish I had got that one. That's what I really wanted to go for. That's good. I did not enjoy the um, the other one. I did. Here, try this. It's super good. We have compost cookie, which is the flavor of ice cream you also just had. 
Oh, yeah. This is literally like your ice cream put into a cookie. Whew. Oh, I just got the aftertaste. Oh. <laughs> it's literally like every every snack you would get at a movie or like at a sports game. Like if you were to take all dressed chips and cookie and put it together, that's what this tastes like. I don't know. I like it. Okay, so what's your favorite? The birthday cake though. I think the truffle balls. Yeah, that's unreal. Does it live up to the hype? Yes. And then would I recommend it? Yeah, I think it's like definitely a, a stop. Um, especially like if you want something with cereal milk and like no one else is really making like a diverse menu with okay. cereal milk and so they have something called the greatest hits menu uh, so you pay twenty dollars and they give you basically all of the things um, that like that are famous so yeah definitely recommend get the greatest hits thing pay twenty bucks you get like a bunch of stuff super good I would recommend it all uh, yeah crack so those are the three desserts. In my opinion, they all live up to the hype. Uh, they're all worth the trip. They all kind of offer like this own unique thing. Um, in my opinion, uh, the one that I would definitely make a stop for is Milk Bar. Uh, it's got the one easy pick on the menu, the greatest hits. Uh, so definitely go check that out. But if you have time, hit them all. Um, if you're in New York, like there's so much you can do. We made this a food trip and we didn't even talk about all the other foods that we tried, but everything's been great. Thanks, Joey, for letting us do this video. Um, definitely subscribe to Film Flipside. Um, and if you have a moment, go check out my uh, YouTube channel. It's called Whiteboard Ministry. I use animation to talk about things about Christianity. So if you're a non-Christian or even if you are a Christian, definitely go check out my channel. Um, I know Joey's really appreciated it. He asked me to do a little pitch for it now. So maybe he'll leave it in the link in the description. Uh, again, that's Whiteboard Ministry. Go check it out. My name's Ryan Murray. My wife is Laura. Say hi, Laura. Hi. I love her. She's pretty. Um, I guess that's it for this video. So there you have it, that's the episode of Let's Try This. So if you happen to find yourself in New York, try out those places. And again, check out Ryan's Whiteboard Ministry channel, it's great. How's that sound? Got the wife's approval. <laughs>